Missouri cities and counties will no longer be able to block evictions and emergencies. Governor Mike Parson signed a bill to that effect today, along with several others. And the bill sponsor tells our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean this was a direct response to actions taken during the COVID-19 pandemic. This puts uh, the, the power in the hands of the General Assembly and, uh, and the governor right here if he wants to impose a moratorium on evictions. State Representative Chris Brown said he filed this bill to block local eviction moratoriums, something he believes the federal COVID-19 response showed was harmful. Within that year, year and a half time period, until the Supreme Court stepped in and stopped that, Literally billions of dollars were lost to property owners, landlords, big and small. A J.P. Morgan report polled more than 32,000 rental owners who did report losing rental revenues in early 2020, but much of that was made back through rental relief programs, back payments, and cutting expenses. Misha Smith is the affordable housing policy manager for Empower Missouri, a group advocating for human rights policy. They say it's important for cities and counties to respond to their individual needs, which may be vastly different in a public health crisis. The ability of these local governments to make decisions um, for their community members is always um, the best option. But Governor Mike Parson said he believes the state should respond to a crisis uniformly. Well, I think there has to be a controlling authority over all things. I think that's what probably got us in trouble uh, before when we were dealing with certain things in the state where I think there has to be somebody that has to make the decision to make sure we're uniform across the state. The governor signed four other bills into law this afternoon, including a ban on local requirements for EV charging installation, a boost to property owners' ability to manage squatters, and a decrease in income taxes owed on broadband expansion grants. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, WGEM News.